That's me flipping President Obama the bird in person. I hope you saw it. But believe it or not, I actually like it when I have the chance to compliment this guy. I wish I had this chance more often. Now, the opening to Cuba is one example of uh, the broken clock being right twice a day. There was something else uh, Obama did that I liked and still like, and that was his at least feeble, partial attempt to classify the Texas military base shooting as something other than a terrorist attack. As you may recall, there was a uh, U.S. soldier who was uh, Muslim who shot up a bunch of other U.S. soldiers who had been conveniently disarmed by the government. Well, attacking a military base, which is essentially what this guy did, that is, in fact, not an act of terrorism. It may be unethical, but it is an act of guerrilla war, not terrorism. To be terrorist, to, to, for, an, for an attack to be terrorism, it has to be directed against bystanders, or at least indiscriminately kill them. Okay, so actually, if you could point to a moment during that military base attack where the attacker uh, targeted a child who was visiting, or targeted a spouse who was visiting, then okay, you've got uh, some terrorism mixed in with that guerrilla attack. But... Again, this knee-jerk approach of treating everything as terrorism that you don't like violates the English language. It's interesting, though, how uh, actually this is a pretty understandable mistake to make because it is, in fact, so rare for a person to engage in a guerrilla attack, especially in the United States. Most violence against the, the authorities in the U.S. actually is terrorism. Because it is indiscriminate. Or maybe I should say most of the violence you hear about. And of course, it, it's possible that most violence against the government takes the form of resisting arrest, and that's not terrorism. So maybe I should correct myself there. But you know, the, the ones you hear about, the, the Oklahoma City bombing, the 9-11 bombing, the Carl Draga incident in New Hampshire, these really do qualify as terrorism, no matter who committed them, because the violence was not limited to uh, combatants or even to politicians. At any rate, the concept of discriminating between a guerrilla fighter and a terrorist uh, was one of the first ideas that ever got me on the road to libertarianism. Uh, back in the mid-80s, I read a Reason.com article to this effect. They were talking about how treating all IRA members as terrorists was inappropriate because only some of them had committed terrorist acts. There were others who had simply fired on police. To me, uh, being uh, more of a unionist sympathizer at the time, I, uh, I kind of rejected this out of hand. But the idea stuck in my head, and as my sympathies became more Republican, so too I came to uh, appreciate Reason Magazine and its libertarian argument for discrimination. That is all. Keene, New Hampshire, the capital of libertarian civil disobedience. The folks over at Freaking.com believe this is the place you should be if you believe in peaceful non-cooperation. Freaking.com invites you to the beautiful hills of western New Hampshire and invites you to join their peaceful evolution. Freaking.com